Oh, this smells, oh shoot, this smells sick, but in a good way. You know what I mean there, beauties. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz, and on this channel, I talk about all things beautiful, especially fragrances. In today's video, guys, we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be sniffing some samples, and we are going to be chit-chatting about things I've learned in this life as I have lived to be 48 years old. So if you guys are interested in hanging with me, get yourself something to drink, sit back, relax, and keep on watching. Before we get into the video, guys, I want to do the affirmation. And today's affirmation is there's a benefit and an opportunity in, an, in every experience that I have. And I am going to talk about that a little more. And look, if this is your first time watching or you are returning, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I always appreciate you. Thank you. And on to the video. So I have a whole bunch of samples. I'm not going to sniff all of them today, but I'm going to sniff something, tell you my thoughts on it. And I'm also going to be talking about my journey in life. So if you guys have been watching, July is my birthday month. By the time you see this video, I will be 48 years old, God willing. And I have learned so many things in this life. And I thought it would be fun to talk about them, share some of my experiences, and hear some of you guys' comments or thoughts on things that I'm going to be talking about. I did write some stuff down to have it's not exactly organized, but some things that I was thinking about, I wrote them down. So I'll be looking down to look at some of the things I have written here on paper. So the first thing I'm going to be sniffing, this is called Korloff Gold. And Sunny sent, sent this to me here on YouTube. Hey, Sunny, if you're watching, and I just saw you talk about this on one of your videos so when i saw this i was like ah oh, i'm excited so let's smell this i think she said this is a coconut fragrance let's see oh wow that smells good oh definitely giving coconut vibes i like it do I smell yellow florals in here? Let me spray this on my hand. That smells pretty good. Let me let that dry down for a little bit. So while I'm let while I am letting that dry down, I the first thing I want to talk about is owning who you are and being unashamed of who you are. And I say that to say because it took me. 47 years to own who I am and to be unashamed of who I am. If you guys don't know, I was a teenage mom. I have six children. I have seven grandchildren. And 10 years ago, you probably would not have been able to pay me to just comfortably say, I'm a mom, I'm a grandmother, because that was something that I felt a lot of shame behind. I was made to feel ashamed of it. I mean, if you do the math, guys, I was pretty young when I had my children. And then I became a grandmother at a young age. And those things brought a lot of shame to me. It was something that I felt like I had to overachieve to overcome some of the shame, such as... Uh, graduating from high school and even though that's something that you know would benefit me by the time I graduated from high school I was pregnant with my third child and I felt like I had to graduate I had to make myself have what society would say is an acceptable life an acceptable job um, being married and all those things to help drown out the shame that I was feeling because of what was happening in my life. And I recently just came to the decision like, look, yeah, you had children at a young age and you are a fairly young grandmother, but 
that's not something to be ashamed of. It's actually a blessing to have the size family that I have. And we are growing. It's, it's a lot of us. But, you know, that is such a blessing to me to be able to say that I have a large family. And it didn't come without adversity. It wasn't easy. There, it was a hard journey. And um, I wouldn't trade it for anything because it brought me here to this day to be able to say this is what I have. So don't be ashamed of things that you uh, maybe have made to feel ashamed of. Own who you are. Own your mistakes. Own your achievements. And hold your head up high. Hold your head up high, girl or guy. It's okay. And I'm sure it's made you a better person. Hopefully, whatever has happened to you. I like this fragrance. It's definitely giving me beach tropical vibes, you know? I, I really like it. It smells pretty good on my hand. The next one I am going to try is Vele. And this was sent to me by... Veronica, if I could get this open. I think this is from Tiziana Terenzi. Y'all, this is sealed in this little baggy tight. Okay, Vele, here we go. I've heard her speak about this a lot, so I'm gonna spray this on the back of my hand. Oh, that smells good. I, I smell it. It smells good, like kind of sweet, but there's something, I don't know, green or weird that I'm smelling. Let me let that dry down and I will get on to the next one, which is it's okay not to be okay. I think because especially in this day and age with social media and having to portray a certain type of image, you have to always look like you are well put together and life is life and for you and nothing ever goes wrong. And that's really great if that's what it is, but it's okay not to be okay. And I think that more people should say, I'm not okay today. Today is not a good day for me. I'm not feeling it. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed or, you know, you don't have to put your whole life story out there, but you don't have to always say you're okay. And I think that that's a good thing because it helps you to work through whatever it is that you're feeling, whatever it is that you're going through. You may be able to get support from someone, but if you're always walking around here, like everything is great and you know, if it is, that's great. But if it's not, let somebody know. I'm not okay today. Can we talk about it? Can you help me? Then you will feel okay. This smells good, but there's something in here. I don't know the notes of any of this, but there's something in here that's making me feel some kind of way. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Well, we'll see how that goes. So the next fragrance I am going to smell is Tabit, which was also sent to me by Veronica. So let's see how Tabit smells. I've heard her speak of this many times. Oh, that's sweet. That's real fruity sweet. It's different though. There's something about this that's different. I kind of like it. It's something in here that's different, but sweet and fruity. Mmm. Peach maybe? It smells really good. But it's something that's quite different about it. Let me spray it on my arm. Okay. So the next one, this one, y'all, now I understand things I've always wondered about when I was younger and my 
glorious 20s or 30s or even as a child, I understand I have all the answers. God has revealed them to me. Things such as, why does my teacher have so many moles on her face? I now know the answer to that because I too have so many moles on my face and on my back and other parts of my body. It's just a part of life. But I remember wondering, why does my music teacher have all those moles on her face? Now I know. Um, why do people put their glasses on to read and then take them off? I now know the answer to that too. These are bifocals, you guys. They're the progressive lenses. So I know the struggles of having to take off your glasses to read or put your glasses on to read and then take them off. I understand all of those struggles now, guys. Um, why does that lady at the grocery store have so much hair on her face? I remember being at the grocery store with my mom and this lady, she had a lot of chin hair. And I was thinking, why does that lady have so much chin hair on her face these are weird questions that i asked myself when i was younger look i know the answer i know the answer if it wasn't for plucking and uh face creams to remove the hair i too would have a lot of chinny chin hair chins on my face this it would be everywhere so i know the answers to those questions as well I also know the answer to, are hot flashes real? Are these women really as hot as they say they are? They sure are, guys. They absolutely are. And my house is getting colder and colder by the minute. I am turning into my mom because 74 degrees is no longer working for me. I need it to be colder. I, I really do because the girl be flashing all the time. I like that to bit. It smells juicy, sweet. I, I like that. That's really good. Oh, this does. Uh, what is this? Korloff Gold. This is turning really nice on my um, wrist, too. I'm really liking this fragrance. It's giving me tropical beach, beach vibes. I'm really liking that. Okay, this next one I have is Perla Nera. And which one am I going to smell from this? This is called Sarai. Is it Sarai? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But this was sent to me by the fragrance friend Jay here on YouTube. So let's see how this smells. Y'all, I smell really good smelling all these samples. I just have to say. This smells good. It smells a little fresh. Smoky. I have no idea what the notes of any of these are. We're just sitting and sniffing. I feel like I smell some a slight incense or something smoky, earthy. Maybe I like this though. This this smells good. This, this smells good. Okay. Next thing, guys, that I have learned is let people know how you feel. This is something else that. It has taken me 47 years to be comfortable with letting people know how I feel in regards to anything. I have always been the person who focused more on other people's other people happiness, other people's happiness before my own. And it was at by any means necessary. I'm a people pleaser, unfortunately, and thank God I'm working on that. But I wouldn't tell you how I felt about something if it made me uncomfortable at the risk of making you upset. So instead of making you upset, I would just be upset and carry that internally, which is not good for your health physically or mentally. Have you guys ever seen that movie Anger Management with Adam Sandler? I was watching it last night and it's absolutely corny, hilarious, but there was a message in it. He was angry, but he wasn't the type of angry where he would burst out 
being angry, yelling and screaming at people, he would internalize it. And all these people were doing him wrong. He was upset about it, but he would never say anything or it would come out in like spurts of anger. And I think Jack Nicholson, who also starred in the movie, said there are two kinds of angry people. There's the type of angry person that would yell at the cashier for not taking her coupons. And then there's the other type of angry person, the cashier who comes to work day after day, never says everything, comes to work one day and shoots everybody in the store. And he told Adam Sandler, you're the cashier. And Adam Sandler's like, no, I'm the scared guy hiding in the produce section, dial a 911. But I thought about that and I said, I spent a lot of my life not saying things at the risk of not upsetting other people. And I am very thankful to God that I am learning not to be that way. I'm going to tell you how I feel and respectfully, hopefully we can talk about it and resolve it. And if not, you know, maybe we need to move on from each other, but I am not going to put anyone's happiness over my own ever again. That's something that I'm trying so hard not to do. And I haven't mastered it because it feels uncomfortable when you're not used to doing something and then you start putting it into practice. But I push through it. I tell myself, you know what, you need to let them know how you feel. Because if you don't, it's going to build up inside and it's just going to be this whole thing. So let them know. I'm working on it, y'all. And I'm, I've made some great progress. Therapy has been very helpful. I'm a big believer of it. I feel like everyone should talk to someone. Okay. So we have another fragrance here. And this is called Montal McCollitz. And I got this from Sunny. So let's see how this smells. I ran out of tester strips, guys, but I'm telling y'all, oh, this Tibet smells so good. I really, I'm enjoying this. This Vele, oh my God. Whatever that weird smell I was smelling, it's gone. I like this. This is nice. Oh, let's smell this one. Ooh. This smells sweet. Almost sweet like bubble gum, but not quite. It's a really fruity, sweet smell. I like this. I'm going to have to look this up. It smells really sweet. What is that? It's some kind of fig or passion fruit. It smells good. Very summer vibes. Whatever it is, it's summer vibes. Okay, the next thing I have is silence is beautiful. You guys, we live in a world where there is a lot of noise. We have social media. We have television. We have YouTube. We have podcasts, audible books. And all those things are absolutely amazing. But sometimes for me, sitting in silence is the best best thing it is the best thing if you guys haven't figured it out i am a christian and sometimes when i sit in silence that's when i can hear the most from god where i can hear my own thoughts the world feels calmer it's it's not chaotic you can just take a breath a break and breathe do that silence is wonderful enjoy the silence sometimes we don't always have to hear noise and i absolutely love the silence it's amazing next guys you know what i'm gonna do something from house of siash i have these discovery sets and i haven't smelled not even half of them and these are i've had these for a couple of years so this is their whispers line so Let's do whispers of strength. You are strong. You are stronger than you realize. So whispers of strength. How does this smell? I smell that belly. I can tell you that. That is trying down beautifully. I love it. Mm. It smells citrusy. 
real citrusy lemon or orange or something. I don't know. I'm going to need to smell that on my skin. And I feel like I'm running out of places to smell. I'll put, I'll put that on there and see how that dries down. Take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else. You know, when you're on a plane and they tell you all the instructions, exit here, here, there, put your mask on. They tell you to put your mask on first because you can't help anybody else until you can breathe, until you can take care of yourself. So take care of yourself. That was another thing. I think as a mom, it was just in my brain to take care of my kids first. Um take care of my husband first. That's what I did. Liz was at the very bottom, bottom, bottom of the totem pole. And it took me a long time to learn to take care of myself. God put in people in my life to show me that, hey, you are important too. Take care of yourself because you can't really, I mean, I was meeting my kids' physical needs. I was meeting my uh, ex-husband's, well, Anyway, I was trying to meet his needs, but um, my needs were not being met at all. So taking care of yourself first is so important. Put yourself first. Starting over again, guys. You know what? I'm talking and I haven't even smelled anything. So let's smell absolute aphrodisiac, which was sent to me by Veronica says, I think I have a dupe of this from Juliana's Perfumes, but let's smell this. Y'all, I smell amazing. With all this stuff, I smell amazing. Oh yeah, this smells like sex on fire. That's the dupe. It smells like sex on fire, but this is a little sweeter. Like I smell the animalic notes which I absolutely love. This smells, oh shoot, this smells sick, but in a good way, you know what I mean? Sick. Ooh, I like this better than the Sex on Fire, actually. Oh man, now I'm gonna wanna buy it, shoot. So I'm got on my hands, so this smells, oh, this is intoxicating. That muskiness, ooh, sweet musk, oh my God. I, dang it. I want it. Okay. Let's see. It's okay to start over again. It is absolutely okay to start over again and again and again if you have to. Listen, your girl has started over again and again. It took me a very long time to graduate from college, but I did it. And I had to keep starting over and over again until I got it right. I am uh, divorced after 19 years of marriage, and I had been with him since I was, off and on since I was 12, but we'll say consistently since I was 17. So to end that relationship and start a new relationship, man, that was scary. Oh my gosh, that was very scary for me because that's all I knew, basically. So to start that over again, to start over another job that I thought I was going to retire from this company, and then I got let go on April Fool's Day, mind you, I had to start all over again. And that hasn't been easy because I could do that job in my sleep. I can't do this job in my sleep. It's always changing. I work in the medical field and things change drastically all the time. And I don't have the confidence in this job that I had in the other, but I'm getting there. But I say that to say, it's okay to start over if you have to. Sometimes you have to start over. And I know for me, I stayed at my job knowing I should have left because it was comfortable, it was flexible, the pay was good, and I didn't want to start over. Same thing with the marriage. That's all I knew. And I did not want to start over. It took me a very long time to come to that place of, you need to start over. This is, this is not it. You've tried and you tried and it's 
is not it. So if you are finding yourself struggling with starting over, you know, change is hard. I think I used that in one of my other, um, in my affirmations, change is hard, but you can do it. It's never too late to change. It's never too late to start over. You definitely can do it. You'll end up feeling better in the long run. It may be scary at first, but you'll feel better in the long run. Oh my God, this aphrodisiac. I think out of everything I've smelled, that is the banger. Out of everything I've smelled, I have smelled. Okay, it. so I think one of the last things that I want to talk about is enjoy life. I've lived 48, 47 years without enjoying life. I've had enjoyable moments, but I didn't really enjoy life. And a lot of that is from trauma that I've experienced. And I think I've learned from the way that I coped with trauma was to bury my feelings and not feel anything and put other people's needs before my own. And I didn't enjoy life. I didn't know how. I was always on high alert for bad things to happen to me. like. You can't enjoy something if you are always used to bad things happening. And so, yeah, I've had enjoyable moments. My children being born or, um, you know, graduating from college and things like that. But actually enjoying life is different. Being happy is not the same as having joy. And so I am learning to enjoy life. And with that, you have to actually be intentional about, it, especially if you're used to being in a different mindset. I have to be intentional every day to have joy and enjoy life. And I'm not going to sit here and come on the camera and say, I have mastered that and I have gotten, gotten it all together. No, I haven't. But um, I can say that I'm getting better at enjoying life and just being happy and owning everything about me and my family and enjoying the small things. There are small things. It doesn't have to be um, this huge thing. I enjoy doing YouTube. I may not have thousands of subscribers, but I enjoy coming on here, talking about fragrances with other people, commenting, exchanging ideas. I enjoy those things. I enjoy going on uh, walks or going out. I enjoy life and I don't have to feel guilty or on high alert all the time of, oh my God, this is too good to be true. When is the ball going to drop? Oh my goodness. So I would encourage you all to enjoy life. Wear your fragrances whenever you feel like it. It doesn't have to be a special occasion to wear Baccarat Rouge 540. I know we say those things, but look, I've worn Baccarat to a bakery and I shut it down. Everybody wants to know what I was wearing. Mask and all, people can smell me. Make it a special occasion. Enjoy life. That's what we're here to do. Just own being happy and enjoying life. Y'all should see this mess I have here. I have a lot more samples I have to go through, but... I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video, my journey to being 48. I'm super excited about what God has in store for me. I heard that my latter years will be greater than my former. And I can truly tell you that this time in my life has been better than any other time. And a lot of that has to do with healing and growth. And I'm just truly thankful for everything that has happened to me, good and bad, because it's made me the person that I am today. So I hope this video wasn't too chatty. I hope you guys found this helpful. And uh, until we meet again, guys, wait, comment down below how you feel about anything I've said. I may have overshared a little bit, but I share because I care and I feel like we can all help somebody. But until we meet again, guys, Remember how blessed and highly favored you are. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.